welcome to shivkumar classes today my topic is profit and loss appropriation account appropriation means distribution therefore profit and loss appropriation means distribution of profit and loss among the partners it's a very simple problem consisting of only four entries in credit side we are going to record the very first entry is by net profit brought down second entry is by interest on drawings which has been made by the partners and debit side we are going to record two interest on capital and the one more entry is be salary to partners salary to partners only four entries credit side it is two entries and debit side is two entries in credit side we are going to record the income of the concern from the partners and debit side expenses of the concern only from the partners that is the concept of this profit and loss appropriation account in case if the income is more and expense is less the answer will be profit and in case if the expense is more and the income is less the answer will be loss so based on this concept only we are going to do the problem number 1 Please look into the problem number one. Yes, there are two partners, Mukesh and Roshan are partners sharing profit and losses in the ratio of three is to two. Let me write here three is to two. Three plus two is five. Three by five, two by Five. And their capitals are rupees seventy thousand and forty thousand. So Mukesh capital is seventy thousand, and Roshan capital is forty thousand. The earned a net profit of rupees fifty two thousand. The net profit earned by the business is fifty two thousand. Before allowing the following, let me read once again. Mukesh and Roshan are partners, sharing profit and losses in the ratio of three is to two, three by five, two by five, and their capitals are rupees seventy thousand and forty thousand. The earned a net profit of rupees fifty two thousand. Before allowing the following. Point one: Interest on capital at ten percent per annum. interest on capital is 10% per annum and interest on drawings mukesh rupees 1500 iod interest on drawings is equals mukesh 1500 and roshan it is the rupees 500 salary to mukesh rupees 8000 per annum salary it is the Eight thousand per annum. Per annum means for one full year. Drawings made by Mukesh rupees twenty thousand and Roshan rupees eight thousand. This will not appear anywhere. Based on the given information, now we have to do the problem. The very first entry we are going to record is in the credit side is by net profit brought down. The net profit brought down is given in your problem is fifty two thousand, and the second entry we are going to record here it is by interest on drawings by interest on drawings. The first partner is Mukesh and second partner is Roshan. The drawings made by partners are you can see here thousand five hundred and five hundred thousand five hundred is made by the first partner 
and 500 is made by the second partner 1500 and 500 you get it is the 2000 rupees now the credit side entry is over coming to debit side we need to record the very first one is the two interest on capitals interest on capitals there are two partners first partner is mukesh and second partner is roshan the capital of mukesh is given in the problem is 70000 and 40000 and interest on capital is 10% per annum so let me record that one you see that 70000 into 10% and for the second partner is 40,000 into 10 percent. Now for the first person 70,000 into 10 percent you get an amount of 7,000 and for the another person you get the 4,000. 7,000 plus 4,000 overall interest on capital is 11,000. Coming to second topic. After interest on capital we have to record the salary to a partner in this problem it is given salary to mukesh is given rupees 8000 per annum so salary to mukesh salary to mukesh rupees 8000 per annum means directly for one full year so all the four entries has been finished taking now let us make a total of this one by observation you see that the total of credit side is more and total of debit side is less the credit side total we get it is 54000 therefore bring the same total of 54000 into debit side also because my lhs must be always equal to the rhs my lhs must be equal to the rhs but total of credit side is 54,000 is there and total of debit side is less. What is the total? Credit side we get 54,000 and my debit side total is 11,000 plus 8,000 you get 19,000 minus minus 19,000 is equals 35,000. So I get a profit of 35,000. So let me write that answer into the debit side. 2. Now we got is profit transfer to all the partners. Profit transfer to all the partners capital account profit transfer to all the partners capital account so out of 54,000 minus 19,000 what is this 19,000 11,000 plus 8,000 is 19,000 therefore I get a profit of 35,000 this 35,000 should be distributed among the Mukesh and the Roshan 35,000 into the ratio it was given that 3 is to 2 the ratio is 3 is to 2 you can see that 3 by 5 2 by 5 so therefore 35,000 into 3 by 5 and 2 by 5 look into the calculation 35,000 into 3 divided by 5 is equals 21,000 rupees for the 21,000 rupees for the first partner and for the second partner 35,000 into 2 divided by 5 is equals 14,000 is equals 14,000 therefore 21,000 plus 14,000 you get the total of 35,000. Let us recall this problem once again. The net profit earned by the business is 52,000 
and interest on drawings is 1500 and 500 you get 2000 interest on capital of first partner and second partner on their capital 70000 into 10% 40000 into 10% 7000 plus 4000 you get 11000 and the salary to mukesh paranam it is 8000 so therefore 11000 plus 8000 you get 19000 this 19000 you have to minus from our total income 54000 54000 minus 19000 you get a profit of 35000 this 35,000 should be distributed among the partners. That's it about this problem. In case of any queries, you can clarify through the comment. Please no, subscribe my channel for further notification. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.